Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of... Vault Hunters! In today's episode, I got, uh, well, I got Create, basically. Well, okay, I didn't get Create yet, but take a look at the top right. Flynn, how'd you get nine knowledge points? That's crazy. Well, listen here, you sweet little biscuit baby person. I'll explain that in just a second, but first of all, I went ahead and ran one of the vaults with CWG's vault doll on my head. I did take one of the bad ones, sorry, but, you know, gonna toss this in here. Is deposit complete doll here for one with a skull? And I don't see anything popping up. So, I am going to... grab one. Thank you. Now, we still have some left over from when we traded with him for the drawers, but you know what? Why not stockpile? Also, I felt like just getting him a little bit of extra loot, because why not? So, as I make my way back home, Flynn, how did you get nine knowledge points between the last episode and this one? You just unlocked Applied Energistics, too. How do you already have, like, Create Unlocked? Well, you're about to. And, uh, Kajiri. Well, let me explain. Long story short, Soul Shard, like the black market, OP. Okay, I've gotten like three Vault Diamond blocks from here for very cheap prices. And look, there's a Vault Diamond in here too. That's not a very good price. I was getting Vault Diamond blocks for like 400. But now that they just roll when you buy one, uh, you can just buy the cheap things and roll them out. I'm not saying to abuse this, but it is how the system works. And honestly, I think it's good. I think it's good for the system. Good for the game. Will it probably get a nerf? Probably. Who knows? But that's not the point. The point is, as long as you get the Benyatite, you pretty much got everything you need. Look, I actually went through like all my knowledge essence, which is fine. I don't quite remember what I've done infrastructure wise between the last episode and this one. Um, oh, I did make a vault soul diffuser. I didn't end up getting the black chromatic steel out of the black market, but I did go ahead and sacrifice some of my black opal to just go ahead and get it. And that is what let me get those nine knowledge points. So of course I ran a bunch of vaults, maybe not a bunch. I don't really know how many I've run 52 so far. Some of them had gilded. Uh, none of them were crazy. It was just, I think I've only run like 10 vaults since the last episode, but really the black market is what kind of did it for me. That and only stopping like f sometimes for normal chests, but mostly for gildeds. Normal chests actually have a pretty good chance to get vault diamonds in them, so they're pretty much worth looting. But anyways, besides that, let's go ahead and commit our knowledge points real quick. So we're going to go get create. I was going to go mechanism, but here's the thing. Mechanism's strongest thing in this version is that it can like octuple your ores which is great. And you can do it with chromatic iron, which is great. But Create can still double the ores and can still generate some ores. And I'll show you guys how later. I can't auto farm crops with Mechanism. I can with Create, however. Now, Mechanism's pipes were really important because then you could go ahead and pipe items into the vault altar. But since the 0.0.3 update, they decided to go ahead and disable that because of the vault grouping items and it doesn't work anymore and they said it's intended, so whatever. So Mechanism's not looking too hot. The atomic deconstructor's gone, the backpacks are disabled, uh, and the, the mecha suit. So, yeah, who cares? And this has super fast smelters, which is great, but Create has a blast smelter with an encased fan, which can smelt entire stacks super fast at no cost of energy. So we're going to go Create. I'm going to commit it right there. And then the other mod we're going to get is Kijirium, because I don't need... Mob spawners, I don't care about the experience. Botany pots, I can auto farm crops with create. And then piglins and villagers, whatever. Those can be, I can get everything you get from these two with Kajirium and Snad. Who needs Snad when you have create farms? You know what I mean? And phytogenic insulator, I need thermal expansion. But like, that's an extra mod research unlock and whatnot. Although I think thermal expansion was cheaper. It was two points cheaper, so that's not a big deal. But then you, of course, raise the cost of everything else in here just for phytogenic insulator. Anyways, I've thought about it. I've rationalized it. It makes sense. I'm going to get Kijiri. So there's nine knowledge points just to the wind. So what are we going to start putting points in after this? Well, um, power generation is not really that important because iron generators, once I upgrade the diamond one to a netherite one, will pretty much suffice for all of our power needs, especially because we're going create. We don't have a power requiring tech mod. Uh, and the only other thing we might need is, well, I don't know. Uh, modular router routers would be cool. Automatic genius eventually for auto crafting, but that's still a hundred knowledge points. Uh, flux networks would be cool, but really we're going to go ahead and focus on the looting aspect at this point. And I'll probably get the vault compass so I don't have to panic. That's only one knowledge point. So that'll probably be our next one. And it doesn't raise the cost of anything else. First, let's kill this thing. Beautiful. Okay. So now we've got a ton of mods unlocked. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we can put to use all these gems that we have. By the way, in the latest update, we did upgrade the server to version 4. I think it's the actual number now. The presses don't get consumed anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. Also, remember these pedestals? They actually show these things now, so maybe they listen to me, or maybe they already knew. Who knows? But I think they changed the config file for supplementaries to go ahead and re-enable this, so now it says do not fail me. It looks super cool, and I appreciate it. Bounties are updated. Now it's like uh, they only have a cooldown for two hours after you complete them, and they scale to your level, and so do coin piles. There's a bunch of changes. Um, I'm not going to go through them all, just watch Iskow's video, but I think those are the main ones. This wasn't a huge, huge update, but it was nice and needed for the applied logistics fixes. If you notice real quick, I made a ton more ME drives, okay? Just a bunch of the 1K ones because I want more types to be stored. This will pretty much suffice for a very long time, and if I need to, I can pull these back out, I think, into their housing. But anyways, so that's that. Why are there a bunch of zombies over there? That's kind of concerning. Where are these guys? Are they upstairs? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, what? what is this? Why is this happening? This has never happened before. Is this a thing? This is a mod or vanilla? Well, they're all gonna die. Ooh, right, you're probably wondering why I'm using an axe instead of a sword. Well, I went ahead and rolled some more Valkyr, and let me show you what I got. Oh god, okay, here we go. We have a ton more armor because I crafted some level 20 gear, and that has a better chance of rolling tier 2 implicits and prefixes, so you can see on this helmet alone I have 10 armor, which is more than like 2 armor pieces from before. So this is what I'm rocking. Really trying to stack that armor. I got uh, resistance on this one though, so that's pretty nice. And then the boots, which have plus five health. So pretty good. Now all the items show where they come from. Here's another big update to this uh, this little patch here. So we can hold shift on skill shards. It's found in treasure chests. So as always, we're going to go ahead and run a vault to get ourselves into the mood. And then we're going to go ahead and automate this farm with create. I think I'm going to try to use gantries because I've never used gantries before. And we'll probably automate this cactus farm. Oh, this is, this is already an automated cactus his farm but you know what i mean all right let's go ahead and run this wall oh oh i got the christmas that's right they added the christmas themes very very cute very cute the gumdrops make you slow unfortunately okay this is good this is a scavenger vault and i need scavenger vaults to be completed for my bounty oh that's right the gem changes went into effect normal ores don't show in the vaults anymore instead it's just vault stone and vault ores which will be very useful the chests are presents that's so cute what do we need? We need normal chests, ornates, black mob essence from mobs, and coins. Usually don't have an issue grabbing these kinds of things, but I guess we'll find out this time, won't we? This guy also fixed the breaking of chests. Oh god, or someone on the dev team fixed it. Oh, don't, don't touch me, little- Oh my god, it's so cute! The Muffin Man! The Muffin Man! <laughs> I didn't know they said stuff. Whoa. Where are you guys coming from? I'm not a monster, I'm just a man trying to... <laughs> okay, I guess they're pretty talkative, that's fine. The trapped present? Oh, that's cute. Oh, is that ore? That is ore. See, so they all look like vault stone now. And that is some delicious Laramar. So, Benetine should be much easier to find now in the vaults. But the rarer pog gems should not. Which kind of stinks for me, since I don't really need the lower level gems anymore. But it's great for everyone else on the server, so I should be happy for them. Oh! How's everybody doing? They got snow dudes. <laughs> chains. Why are there chains? Hmm. Ow. Ow. The muffin man. Okay, let's get out of here. There's a bunch of mobs spawning. I don't appreciate it. Maybe wool was not the best color palette to choose. Didn't realize I was going to be getting a snow theme. Algal bricks. Okay. I see you, Isco. Putting a bunch of junk in the, in the loot tables now so that we need more upgrades for our pouches. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, cooked vault steak. That's actually, like, a not bad thing to put in the vaults now. I mean, how are we doing on things we need? I need jars, which I only have one. I need pages, which I have eight. That's good. Black mob essence, I only got one. But I have no correct scripts. We need more money. Oh, I did get one of these wizard wands, which are quite rare. Okay. We've got the jars we need. Let's go ahead and deposit those boys. Do I have the pages I need? Um, close. Not quite yet, though. Hello, gingerbread man. Oh, God. You're a monster. I'm not a monster. Just a man that likes to murder gingerbread people. Which I guess would make me a monster. But that's not how I like to see things. 
Ooh, another secret thing, which isn't secret. These wooden chest scrolls and ornate scrolls and whatnot, just turn them into soul essence, dude. You know, unless you really want the decorations, but right now, if you're here for progression, ooh, that is how I was able to afford so many black market items. I cap you not, my friend. I cap you not. Dang, no crap scope. I said crap scripts, but you know what? I got one, so I won't complain. Okay, bottom floor. Why can't we see under these liquids? Why are you gonna make it difficult? Maybe it's not even their fault. Who knows? No, not the buttons! Not the goddamn buttons! Shrek reference. Ah! The heck! Leave me alone! Good god, I almost died. Then I tried to water bucket out and I water logged the stairs and I almost died. Just five more men and I will be okay. Did I get any health potions? I did not. I did not get any health potions. That kind of stinks. There we go. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Let me out of the freaking thing. Oh my goodness. You monsters. You call me the monster, yet you keep me in a hole. Hey, a vault helmet. That's cool. Oh, hey, a vault boots. Hey, a vault sword. What the heck? Good god. Okay, please don't spawn on me like that. Listen, I'm low on health. I just want to kill you guys, okay? Come on, jump, jump up. Jump up, there you go. Idiot. Okay, we're good. Most likely, we're not going to get enough crack scripts, which kind of stinks. See, vault diamonds. I have eight of them. I have enough for another knowledge star. Then I can get my vault compass. Get out of here, child. Gummy child. We only have four minutes left. We're not going to finish this. <laughs> Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Get it? Because it's, it's gummy bear soldiers. <laughs> Uh, let's start heading back. Well, I'd like to say that we were close, but not really. We had, like, no black mob essence. And we still needed two crack scripts, so whatever. He just was not in the cards today. Whee! Okay, so now what I like to do is take all the scavenger items and go ahead and put them in this little vault soul diffuser. Do scav here, and it makes it really easy. And then I search by mod for a vault, and then I see what I got, like a wooden scroll. I just want to go ahead and diffuse that. I'm gonna go ahead and... well, I don't even have enough Benyatite to make another knowledge point, so I won't do that. But I could use these to go ahead and upgrade... well, I need diamonds for my pouch upgrades, so we'll probably just use it for that. Put this in there. Boom, look at all that soul dust. Every nine soul dust is one soul shard. And you know what a soul shard is. Alright, so that vault run's all done. You got to see the new winter theme? Let's go ahead and get started on automating that farm up there. I think that'd be pretty fun. So, of course, there's going to be the good old create stuff that we're going to need, like the wrench. We're going to need some super glue. We'll clearly need the mechanical press. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a hand crank for now, just to quickly make some stuff. We are almost out of chromatic iron, although I think I have a ton up in the smelter. I just don't have any furnace fuel, which I can fix in a second here, actually. I'm going to change my order of operations. Let's go ahead and make an encased fan so that we can smelt all this stuff we need. So, okay, looks like we do need sheets, so we'll need the mechanical press first. Andesite casings are chromatic iron block and an andesite alloy. Place that down. Boom. There we go. Now let's make the mechanical press. I need shafts, which, man, these take more chromatic iron. And a block of iron. Okay. Also running low on that, but we can generate iron with create. I'll show you how to do that later. Mechanical press... Boom. Sent that right there with a... Oh, I didn't make the crank yet, did I? Blink. And we'll toss in... Well, we'll toss in all 12. Just gotta crank this real quick. It'll be right back. There we go. Okay, we've got all 12 iron sheets. How do we make this encased fan? Need another andesite casing. Okay, that's an issue. Um, Pressure plate, pressure plate, pressure plate. Pop the lava in there. Give me that hand crank. Put it on the back. Okay, so now we can just toss all of this in front... And start cranking this. Oh, the other way. Beautiful. Look at all this chromatic iron. <laughs> Let's see. Can we make the windmill bearing again? Or is this going to be ludicrously expensive? Ooh, black chromatic steel. That's a shame. How are water wheels? Still, what the heck, dude? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Oh, that's expensive too. All right. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you didn't touch the chain gear stuff. Good, you didn't. Smart man. Okay, fine. No big deal. We'll go ahead and make some... Alright, I'll be back after I get some things made. Then then I'll explain what I'm doing. You don't need to see me craft everything. Okay, so we need eight black opal, which I think I only have seven. Conveniently enough. Oh no, I have enough. 
Okay, let's go ahead and turn these into black chromatic steel. Let's make a windmill bearing. I need a pog, two vault diamonds, and a polished vault stone. Which, of course, I don't have. Crap. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, so for the windmill bearing, we're going to need wind sails. So, or maybe they're just sails. Cool, cool. All right, and aside, boom, wool, boom, stick, boom, stick, boom. Tons of sails. Give me this polished vault stone. Poggy woggy, two vault diamonds. Windmill bearing. Science. Okay, now the only question is where am I going to set this stuff up? Oh, I've got a leak. My ceiling is pissing. Okay. Well, I do want it over here. Could make an actual windmill. I guess it'd be kind of cool. It's going to be a very simple, stupid looking windmill. Place this windmill bearing. God, no, why? I'm going to kill you. You think this is a game? Come on. I'm not afraid of you. That's right. Leave me alone, idiot. Uh-oh. That's right. Burn. Burn, you animals. Boom. Beautiful. Except not really. Looks absolutely disgusting. Maybe I'll pay one of the builders to come over and make it look nicer. But, um, we might extend the, uh, wall here a bit, because it's a little- it's a little cramped. It's a little cramped. But we're gonna go ahead and run that down. Um, what's underneath this? Perfect. We can route it somewhere to be dispersed. Or disperse it underneath the base. Okay, well, great. This is working out swimmingly. So first things first, let's get that power routed down here so that I don't have to jump up here every time I want to use it. Oh. Okay, oh, okay. How much is... How, how expensive is a wireless thing? Dense energy cell. I can make another one of those. A terminal, which is not that bad. And this. Okay, I will definitely be getting that for myself. Okay, so. I need a vertical gearbox. Plunk. And then basically the rest is just run it down with these things. Come on. Come on, other way. I didn't realize I could do that from down here, but that's fine. So now we've got rotational power down here. Another vertical gearbox, just to go ahead and make it rotate, like so I can run it horizontally. And then here, so I need rotational power to be... I don't know where the rotational power goes on a gantry, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Gantry carriage. Oh, okay, it goes on the end. So that's not a big deal. So I need to speed this up. Okay, so we will have one route that goes and uses the normal speed... I would like another one, which will be this side, I guess. This is where we're going to use the adjustable chain gear shifts. So for here, I will... Oh, please leave me alone, you stupid phantoms. Fine, I'll go sleep. Why, hello there. I've transitioned to a post-recording commentary style to go ahead and explain what I did, because, God, I was very bad at explaining. So let me just go ahead and run through the whole setup for you really quickly. So I can save myself scouring through two hours of footage, and we can just get to the point. Now, I can't reach up here, but basically, all I did for the windmill was that it's a windmill bearing connected to sails. That's it. And it's spinning. Okay? Then I used a gearbox to route the rotational power straight down, adding an extra vertical gearbox here so I can split it to the side and power the gantry, which I'll explain in a second. And then the rest down here is spaghetti. So basically, I've got the main power coming in right here. So this is straight under the windmill. So now we've got this section going over here at this speed, just in case I need some low stress unit power to power anything that's slow that doesn't really matter, like, a, like an encased fan. And then over here, I have a speed doubling setup. Oh God, somebody should really patch that. I should sue whoever left this hole here. Can I reach? Can I do this? Oh, you slick. Anyways. All right, so here's how it goes, okay? Basically, so we've got our main power coming in, going into this adjustable chain gear shift. Now, when you put a redstone on these, if you go ahead and add another chain drive next to it, that one is going to be spinning at twice the speed. So basically, this is that same principle stacked over and over again. But the same thing is coming in here. So you see rotational power goes into the chain gear shift. I have a lever, and this is right next to it, and it's twice the speed. And then one more time over here. Except this one's not even being powered, so that's kind of a silly oopsie on my part. But I think I removed it because it was going really fast. Okay, so over here, that's this is where my mechanical press and my mechanical mixer are. It's just temporary and so that they could rotate faster because a mechanical mixer needs a certain rotational speed to actually function. Now, how I made brass to make the things, which is why I needed a mechanical mixer, was you get a basin and then you get a blaze burner. The blaze burner you craft and you just go ahead and, well, you right click or something on the blaze and then you capture it. I don't have any fuel on me right now, but basically to, oh, come on. I don't have any fuel on me right now, but basically all you do is feed it some coal, it ignites, and then everything in here can start cooking with recipes that require heat. 
aka brass. So that's all the rotational speed done. Okay, so how did I set up the gantry to go back and forth automatically? So now the gantry part, okay? We have rotational power coming into this sequenced gear shift. The sequenced gear shift is basically just you telling what should happen when it's powered by redstone. So whenever this receives a redstone pulse, it's going to push the piston, which is actually a gantry in this case, 19 meters forward, and then it's going to push it 19 meters back. So you'll see, going that way is the first 19, coming back is the next 19, and then it waits for a redstone pulse. And that's why this observer is here. So you'll see, as soon as it stops, it sends a redstone signal to this redstone link which sends to over here, which then powers the sequence gear shift and causes an infinite loop of going back and forth. This is a lot simpler to set up with rotational farms, but I wanted to go ahead and try using a gantry shaft because why not? I'm gonna add some storage to it too, and then an importer somewhere here so that I can automatically import all these crops into my farm but this doesn't need to be this big. This is more of a proof of concept. I'm probably going to shrink down the farm a lot since it's going to be automated. And don't worry, we're going to go ahead and expand the base a little bit because this farm is going to be downsized to a little like quadrant there. This cactus farm is probably going to go away. So is a sugarcane farm. And I'm going to expand this out so it doesn't feel so crowded with this windmill here. But I'll probably do that off camera or on a stream or something. And that's pretty much it, everybody. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.